Hey y'all, welcome back to another episode of Steph's Design Space. Happy Friday! It is junk journal day and I am so super excited. Um, I am going to be doing a pink spread as requested by a viewer. So yes, I've already kind of pulled some things out um, wanted to see how it would look and what I could do. So let's get started. If you are new, welcome. Every Friday, typically, I try to do <clears throat> a junk journal um, spread. This is my um, gratitude journal that has started this month and super excited. I love junk journaling. It is quickly become a passion of mine. Um, also a big challenge when there's all the big things in here when you're trying to do this. So I do have some really pink things. I know this has red in it. I'm just trying to have some contrast. So I'm trying to think if I want to do it like this. And I'm thinking yes. And the good thing about junk journaling for the most part are there's no rules that already welcome you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I don't remember. I get so excited and completely distracted from all things when I am doing this journal because it's so much fun. Okay. And it's so much fun. I'm just dropping all my things. All right, let me go ahead and cut this and it's not even at the bottom. I'll cut that off too. Okay. I don't know if I want, I'm going to do the whole page. So I want the whole page to look like this because this was already um, like a journal that was already put together type thing. Um, I like to do stuff like this with the pages. Either I ink them up so they're not so crisp and clean looking, or I obviously cover them in washi that is all wrinkled. But that gives it character, right? Like it doesn't have to be straight. It doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be anything. It can be whatever I want. So it is okay. I'm gonna cut that. How is everybody doing? Do we have any big plans for the weekend? Anything going on? Okay, all cut. It is not perfect. And that is okay. I do need to cut this off though because it will start sticking to the other page. <clears throat> um, I believe that my next junk journal, like when this one is full, is going to be one that I make myself, not a pre-made journal. So that is gonna be interesting. We have a little bit of ways to go before I get there. I'm still honing in on how I like to do my pages, different ideas and techniques. So that is a thing. Now this goes here because this is the journaling card from last week's junk journal. And I have this clip that helps keep it on. And then look at that, that's like a little barrette. I got it on clearance at Joann's or somewhere. So I just wanna make sure that stays there. It has to be clipped, it cannot be glued down. That way I can pull off all the things. Um, okay, so these are going to be my journaling cards. So this one is going to go down here. And I am going to, I don't know. So I had to grab this. Okay, I'm just going to tape this up and put it down. Hang on, I need to make sure because I think this one has to go here. 
Okay, I don't need to keep that here because I can just do whatever. I think this one needs to go up here like this. Yes, and I can write on that. And now we are going to decorate this. And this is way brighter than what I usually do, right? We, we know this. All right, I'm gonna put this one here. I think that's gonna go there. <clears throat> so I'm just going to round the corners. I don't know how I did out of order. And I don't think it's going to cover it up too much. Um, but I am only going to do, let me see. I am going to make it like a little tuck in pocket type thing. I'm gonna do like that, but then I can still put little things in there. Now I cut out, this is all from scrapbook paper, so it was a couple of sheets that I cut out. So this was actually like this, right? So it was in here, not exactly like that, but you get the, you get the idea. And I just took my swivel knife and cut it out so I would have more depth, not just a circle or a square. And I really like that. So I cut that out and I'm just trying to see what else I have in here. Okay, here we go. So I can stick this out. So this is like a little pocket so I can tuck things in. That's what I was looking for as little tuck-in um, that would fit in there. I really like this, but this seems kind of large. So what I believe I'm gonna do is cut it down because this is for my gratitude. And although I am grateful for a lot of things, most of the time when I'm in my gratitude journal, it's just a sentence or two. It's not like paragraphs or a thesis or a novel or anything to that degree. Okay, so that I like. And then this is going to go like on the corner like so. Um, I can save that little bit for something else. Just trying to add some depth and dimension. Just kind of play around with it, see what I like. I don't like that. I wonder if I should just cut these. don't know how straight that is so I was watching one of my friends do her videos her playing with me is and I have realized that I am probably <laughs> one of the messiest people <laughs> when it comes to planning y'all leave drawers open stuff is everywhere I'm constantly having to move it and her pages are just pretty and precise and there's never anything just all over the place. It's amazing. It is truly amazing and so very awesome. Okay. Feeling so plush. Okay, so I'm going to leave that like so. And I am going to move these out of the way. So I can glue this down or whatever you want to call this tape it, run it, smack it down, whatever. All right, we're gonna, oh my gosh, that's so freaking. 
I'm glad that came up, but that kind of concerns me that it came up. And you know why it looks crooked is because I need to line it up with the paper, not with the tape. There we go. I almost glued the wrong side. All right. I'll make sure that this still closes. Get that tape. There we go. And this can just be a little tuck in like so. Now we know that Seventy can't do white and this looks very off, right? So we're going to get some ink and see if we can change that a little bit. Okay, I pulled out some desert sand. I don't know what this is going to look like. Um, but okay, that's not too bad. All right. Okay, so I am just doing this to just take some of that brightness out because this isn't that bright. Um, I'm still learning how to use these things. If anybody knows of a good video to watch for this kind of inking, I would greatly appreciate it. Just leave me a comment. I hate that I get so splotchy like that, but when I see other people do it, they make it seem effortless which I know is not the case. So, anywho. Okay, I am not going to make it like all brown and whatever, just a little bit. Um, sorry, that is very distracting there. Okay, <clears throat> so we have this, and now I'm going to add a few extra things um let me see okay i pulled out these and the people so let us see what we have like that would be kind of cute and the bicycle I think that got stuck to glue. Here, let me see. <clears throat> oh, I like the bicycle like that. Oh, here's a corset. So it's got the same like pink flowers on it. Maybe we do a corset down here. Uh, what else we have? All kinds of cool things in here. I don't want a sewing machine or that. It has too much gold in it, I think. Because this has some sparkle, so I feel like that's okay. No green. I don't need any more flowers. No. Okay, so I think that is what I'm going to do. Put that to the side. I don't know if I'm going to use this or not. We'll see. Maybe. Maybe put it up there a little bit. Some of these are so hard to open. All right. Let's see what kind of people we have. Thinking just a little person. And that's what I do. I put one down, and then if I find one I think that I like better, then I put it down. No. 
definitely not a guy. Oh, that would kind of look like she's sitting on that, huh? Okay. See how I just like find something until I find something better. I do like the whole sitting on this. It looks natural. And it's hard to find places where people can sit and it looks natural. And I like the little girl versus like an older person. And I think that we're just gonna stick with her. Yeah. But if I do this one and do this bicycle just right, maybe she can look like she's leaning on it. Let us see. No, I think that's a stretch, don't you think? And who leans on a bicycle tire anyway? Okay, so this can go like I had it, and this little girl is going to sit there and stuck to that tape. I'm okay if it hangs up a little bit. Well, whatever, her head's going to be on the bicycle tire. Layering is all the thing. Okay, so... <clears throat> Put all the people back. All right. What else do we need? Um, I'm trying to see if I have any washi that may go good with it. This is like what I call my vintage washi no I don't see anything that is striking a fancy within me so put that back but I think I do have some stamps that I'm going to use but let's go ahead and commit the corset I'm going to put that back in there, but all right, the corset is going to go under right there and then this can still stick out this. I did like it right here. I don't know why, but I did. No, that's too matchy matchy. So I'm going to put it up there just like so and the bicycle is <laughs> stuck okay we'll just do it like this make it work for you okay and then the little girl the wee one can sit right on top of this like so there we go and I'm just grabbing something to just put over here I'm sorry I'm like way off camera I'm like almost in my lap <laughs> Just need to kind of get rid of that definite line. Okay, I know I don't mind like crooked and stuff, but that was a little excessive. Okay, so kind of draws that in together. Um, these are blues. Oh, here's some 
red that may stick out a little bit. Put this up here. I don't think I'm going to do a wax seal today. What do y'all think? Do y'all like me using the wax seal? Do you think I should do it like every time? Or no, I should just give it a break. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Be like, yes, please, I like it, or nah, just whenever. Okay, let me put this back in the center. I have my grateful stamp, so we can go ahead and put grateful so it kind of lets me know not that I need any remembering but that this is my gratitude journal I'm just going to stamp it down here okay that looks pretty good not bad not bad at all is there anything else we think we need on this spread I'm going to go ahead and put the, um, kind of clear this off because I always end it and there's just stuff everywhere. So I'm going to go ahead and put the envelope back on the other side. So that will be attached because that's going to kind of look like that. So it still gives it like some character. Um, I don't know that I need both of these. No, I'm just going to use the one because it will stay with just the one. And then I have this for another time. All right, guys and girls and ladies and gentlemen, all of you. Um, if you have not already subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Ring the bell so you don't miss anything. Give it a thumbs up. And until next time, y'all have a blessed day. Bye.